you can hear in the background is actually fireworks and a beagle and her first no not on there no thank you sweetheart away good girl that was a firework whether or not it was exploded or not I couldn't tell but and she's a beagle and wants to sniff everything um can honestly tell you uh, whether it had been a good good day it probably would have been and yeah she doesn't actually care however she does want to go and see but she's not pulling because of the firework she's pulling because she wants to smell something that's really really interesting And that house has come back from the house that we just left in. She can obviously smell the power of the fire and the and stuff. And we've got three different locations where the fire is going rough. So she's not going to tell. She's left. It's okay, she's calm, sleeping. And I do have a spare harness, it's fairly treats um, literally everything on me um, and I also have a whole tea should she stop pulling and get con concerned I have uh, her favourite um, little jacket thing which is basically like a fleece but it seems to something about it seems to calm her down but it's just a standard fleece, there's nothing to it. It's just like a fleece that came with a waterproof jacket that, of hers. Um, she just only started wearing it the past couple of days because it's been a bit cooler. Um, only indoors, um, as in garage, not anywhere else. Well, I've been starting to there, ready to go. So not even, say, five, ten minutes. Um, and she seems to love it. She just sort of lays there and drifts off to sleep. Absolutely loves it. I think it's so nice and snuggly. Um, nice and calm, waggy tail. Um, so if that's the thing that sees her. I've got it on me. Um, uh, obviously I'm here and she always seems to have a thing about wanting me. So uh, she seems happy enough. She does tend to pull. Um, of an evening when uh, we walk initially so within the first say like, five ten minutes we're well within that um, and she's just happy walking doing her thing the wacky tail she looks but yeah she seems good that's just the beagle <laughs> um, so yeah so far so good I've more than enough traits on me to keep her happy but I don't care. I don't plan on giving them there. You should think the car of them. It's out road. Looking straight at a couple of fireworks. Bit of tickle. Um, so yeah, clearly happy. Fantastic. Um, I'm very, very glad about this, to be honest. My previous dog was absolutely petrified of fireworks. She would shake, she would cower in the corner of her bed. We couldn't walk her like this. This just wouldn't happen. We couldn't even get her out of the house. Not that alone on a lead. Um, she she was um oh, I put a photo on the back of this video or end of this video. Um like a black lab terrier a Jack Russell terrier that says um a bit of King Charles in her and something else or other in her as well. It's obviously you can't have three dogs. Um, uh, there was something quite big I mean about we trying to work out what it was the last two years of her life and we just we couldn't work out her breeding was just so quirky. But needless to say she was loved. But it just couldn't work out for love of money. Um and like this little one, she was petrified. This little one, yeah, she's looking. But we're coming up to a little grassy patch, which way she started to pull a bit instead of wanting to walk alongside. Uh, yeah, so far, so good. Happy days. 
happy, happy days. Happy bonfire night and fireworks like what have you to uh, one on all. And this so this will be uploaded shortly to the world and being recorded about uh, what, half past seven on Saturday. Um, so yeah, happy uh, less. Enjoy. That's over the ground. That's that's right. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 